Florida is known for our beaches, theme parks, and yes, our alligators. Yeah, even our big ones. <laughs> you can find alligators in other states, but something about gators in the Sunshine State makes them center stage for the curious. Mm -hmm. Watch Tuesday, McDaniel examines the fascination with Florida's massive reptiles. Whether jostling for territory during mating season, strolling across the local golf course, or camped out at the front door, gators get big time attention. And stuff one in a garbage can? Well, forget about it. That's instantly viral. Let's go, let's go, up here, gators! For more than 70 years, Gatorland has parlayed the public's fascination with alligators into a successful business model. People come here to Central Florida for two things. One, for the big mouse, and two, to see these guys, alligators. And just in Gatorland's breeding marsh, 150 alligators, a fraction of the gators on site of all ages and sizes. At Gatorland, little kids can actually hold baby gators, but if you want to get up close to the big boys, you got to spend 12 bucks, grab a piece of chicken, give them some lunch, hoping, of course, you're not lunch. Get beyond the fence, feed these alligators from a safe distance, learn about them, and have a really cool picture with them in the background. Y'all, welcome to Gatorland's Jumbo. Woo! Had a lot over my years, yeah. Most of them like bad stories, aren't they? They're all because the killers. They're, they're not friendly, are they? They're wild animals. Wouldn't swim with them. Nice jump. It's scary when they're holding a bit chicken in their hands, anyway. They're jumping off the line. Was just cracking. Good to see. Whether a first-time visitor like Alan Craig from Scotland or annual visitors from Maryland. My daughter loves them and I love just to watch her feed them. Her eyes light up, it's great. Cool, there you go. They're cute. Yeah. They're cute little things. Well, I think it's amazing. I think it's fascinating. I think it's incredible to watch them swim around and eat and just do their thing. I think I just think it's fascinating. I, I love it. Alligators never disappoint. And we keep them heated, keep them about 88 degrees because an alligator's cold blooded. At Brooks Family Farms, what they grow are alligators. In a controlled environment, and feed them a high protein feed, and they grow three times as fast as they do in the wild. Tenderize it, vacuum pack it. And if you this order gator tail at local restaurants, it's likely it was farmed. The hides, used for high-end fashion. Some clients are high-end brands based in Europe. They make handbags and wallets and purses and stuff. That's where the money is in the skins. Skin from farmed gators gets a higher grade from fashion designers. In the wild, gators may go after one another while hunting or establishing territory. Scars on the hides, not as good. They're not out in the wild where they could see a bird fly over and want to bite and scratch eat and mess their hides up, because all the skins are graded to a scale of a one, two, or three. So you want a perfect skin for them, you know, to make their handbags and stuff out of. It's the last of the dinosaurs. Midway airboats will take people to see Florida's natural beauty on the St. John's which of course includes 99% of people when they come here, that's what they're looking for. They'd like to see some alligators. We saw a few on our trip. Never gets old. One even seemed to perform a bit, like it knew it was on center stage. When I see them, I'm still in awe. They're just, they're just really, really awesome creatures. And whether at Gatorland or at Midway, holding a gator is a photo spot moment, a lasting memory. Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.